every child belongs to a family and grows with love, respect, and security. This is our vision. What I'm going to tell you a story is how I live this vision while working in SOS Ethiopia. It was 15 uh, years ago when I joined SOS. Uh, I joined as an administrator, but I had a passion to work with youth. So I uh, asked my boss to support in the youth uh, program. And one day, uh, a very shining day, a boy came to my office. He was very hungry and also angry. Bitter, uh, he didn't have his dinner, lunch, maybe probably his breakfast. He slept uh, on the street. He was shabby, but he opened my door and he asked me to give him money. As if I am uh, ATM machine, he just touch and get the money and he wants to go out. But I treated him like a human being. The first thing I said to him was, good morning. He was a bit surprised. He didn't return it back as good morning to you two. He didn't say that. And I asked him to sit. He was also a little bit suspicious. But I got up and sit next to him. I don't want to have, at that time, the barrier uh, between us, the table. So I moved and I sat next to him. And also I asked him if he wants to have his breakfast now. And he was happy and he said, yes, if possible, I want to have tea and bread. And I asked my colleague to bring that. And he, a while uh, waiting for the breakfast, we were talking not about his problem, but about who he is. I asked him about his mother, I asked him about his uh, brother and sister, and I also told him about myself. That creates relationship. So the whole thing shifted. And then I, I solved his immediate problem, but I wanted also to help him for the future. So I asked him to come back again in two days time so that we can discuss about his future. Giving him money doesn't really help him. So after two, three days, he came back and we discussed. And I identified that he has a talent in um, traditional crafting and sewing. Though he was not good in his education, but he had that talent. So with the team, uh, I organized him a training, and that's the history. And now he's a very good boy who has his own business. The whole story is we need to give them love first, not material things. We need to show them respect if we want respect from them. That's also what I have learned. and also. This is not about one use, one child. I try to see how our systems are functioning in SOS children. So we got also training, mother's training in psychological issue and also uh, mental support. So the whole story is we need to give them love and respect, not only material things. Thank you very much.